thank gosh I could finally stretch my legs. Seriously, I have been in this car for ages now. Yeah, anyways, so it's been really a long journey, but I finally am heading to my new, you know, home basically. I'm finally going to be living on my own for the first time. Um, and I would say at a pretty young age, you know, I'm not that old, you know. Um, which is really, really awesome because like I thought I would be living in um, you know, with my parents, and then I ended up getting the flat share, which is what I used to have before, which basically just means that I like just share. It's just roommate situation. Well not roommates, but it's just like we have our own rooms. It's just literally you just have a bunch of flatmates really. And it was actually really nice there, but it is, I don't know, it was interesting to say the least. But I'm glad that I can finally get here and, you know, the new place I found, I really was happy about it because they've got so much security and honestly, I just really like the idea of moving somewhere kind of more calmer rather than in the center of the city um, because that's kind of where I was. I wasn't in a city, but well, I was, but it wasn't like Central City or anything. So I'm really glad though that I could finally get the chance to, you know, move on from that. And this place is literally the most, like, it's a dream. Literally everything, it checks every box and I'm really excited. Okay, guys, so we are finally here. This is literally it. Oh my goodness. I am already ecstatic oh yeah and this should be my parking spot and there's the moving van this feels surreal like seriously i don't even know how to feel oh wait there's the mover um oh yeah i'll hang on i'll just get out here it's i'm sure it's fine hi oh hi i'm assuming you're the one who lives in apartment 2b yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's me, <laughs> of course. Um, Thank you so much for all the work you guys have done. I'm so sorry if you had so much to deal with alone. But um, obviously, I'm here now. Are these the last few boxes? Uh, yes, these are the last few. And me and my team, we've just obviously thrown off of the last two vans ahead. So fine, obviously, but I'll be done with this very shortly. It, seriously, thank you so much. That's honestly a lot more than I would have even asked for. Thank you. Um, So yeah, I'll just, I'll help you out with the boxes. I'm just going to go park my car up and that and then i'll be upstairs helping you guys out if that's okay of course of course no worries take your time okay guys so actually the movers just had to go and run off and leave so they have already gone um i've got the last box luckily it's not too heavy actually um i think they were really sweet and they did that intentionally these guys were honestly the best i honestly would recommend going with them they are so nice but here we are this is it oh my goodness I feel so surreal. I do have to do a sign in. I think oh yep, there is someone there. Um hello. Um I'm here to just do the sign in, you know, for obviously um the movers who just came in as well as also myself. Oh, of course. Well, welcome to Bellevue Apartments. Obviously, yes, if you just sign in your name, um let me get the pen for you. And yeah, just that sheet there. And obviously we'll also have to just do that signing just in case there's ever any issues for the future. And if you're ever signing someone in to stay over. Okay, thank you so much for all of your help and everything. And it's great to meet you, obviously. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. Okay, guys, so we're going to go and head up to my official, you know, apartment. Obviously, they've been really friendly, you know, and they've been, you know, giving all the boxes in there. The door is already unlocked and that the key should be up there. So I don't have to have any keys, but I do obviously have to go and take the elevator. It's a bit annoying that there is only an elevator, but nonetheless, let's go. Okay, so this is actually um, what the apartment looks like. It just feels surreal to me, like genuinely, I have no idea how to like process the fact that I own an apartment, you know, the view of everything, it seriously looks incredible. So the first thing that I know that for sure that I want to do is definitely laundry. So we're going to be connecting the washer and dryer so that way then they can be, you know, like you know, connected to the vent so they can actually, you know, the steam and there's no flooding. Obviously, I need some washing done. Um, as well as also take out the kitchen appliances and set them up on the counters and everything because I need to start cooking again. All I've been eating is the most stupid meals or doing like delivery all the time and it's not the best. And then I also do need to head to the shop so I can go and get some food for dinner. I mean, that's my plan for today anyways. Tomorrow is when things are going to get hectic as I've got a lot to do. But that is my simple list for now. So I'm going to go ahead and do those.
Okay, so finally, again, I have gotten all of this sorted. I'm really glad that I managed to get all of the appliances. It's not like I really had a lot that I had to do, but um, I've also then organized all the utensils and put them in the drawers. Um, I don't really have a lot of things because, like I said, we kind of, when I moved to the flat, um, a lot of my like housemates, they already had the stuff there. So I never really bought a lot of things myself. So this is why I'm really excited to do that all tomorrow. But for now, I think this is good you know but obviously there is nothing in my fridge or freezer and that is obviously all set up so while I'm having as well I also did put another um washing load on so while I do that I'm going to head to the shops it is getting a little bit later on in the day so I do really want to you know try my best to actually get some food in me for now so I can you know rest well and just really have a good evening routine really okay so just waiting to get oh oh hello <laughs> Oh, uh, hi, yeah. Um, sorry, what floor are you going to? Oh, sorry, yes, just floor one, the one below, that's all. Uh, it was great to see you, I'm guessing you, do you live here? Yeah, I'm a resident here, I'm, me and my girlfriend live, I'm guessing, below you then. Um, obviously you're the new one today, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, and you as well, thanks so much. Okay. I know that was awkward, but it was only awkward because of me, or I, I know it's not his fault. Hiya, oh, yeah, sorry, thank you. Is it okay if I just um, can also get um, some gum as well with that? Um, I'm sorry, I know you just bagged it all up. Oh, no problem. Just obviously grab one yourself, and I can just add that to your total, along with all the things. Okay, great, thank you. Also, considering we don't often have that many young people move to Bellevue, how about I give you a free slushie on the house? To celebrate it, of course. Not many old people are ordering them every now and then. A free, a free slushie? Yes. Let me just grab one. It's the only flavor we have for now, but here's a strawberry slushie you can have. Wow, I would love to. Yes, please. Welcome to Bellevue. Thank you so much. I'll take this along with everything else. Thank you. Wow, that was insane to have all of that and everything, honestly. Oh, um, hello? Oh my goodness, hi. Hello, are you, um... Hey, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I am so sorry. I know this is kind of awkward to catch you, but I'm kind of glad I did. I'm assuming you're the new resident. Yeah, I'm the new resident that lives here, yes. Um, I'm guessing, were you coming to come to see me? Yes, exactly. Um, well, one, my boyfriend saw you in the elevator. He said to me, you know, that there's somebody our age moving in. And so I instantly wanted to bring some chocolate and, you know, a drink and just kind of introduce myself. Your boyfriend? Um, oh, Mason, that guy I met earlier. Oh, wow. So you guys live together on the, um, the floor below me, yeah? Yeah, we do, of course. Um, so how have you been finding it? How have you been with moving in and everything? Have you been okay so far? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's great to be here, really. Um, would you like to come on in or something? Yes, of course. Thank you. So, yeah, this is it. Um, it's kind of, um, it doesn't look exactly the best. Um, I've just obviously gone shopping to go and get a few things as well. Oh my goodness, this is such a good memory to look at everything. Just looking at it reminds me of when me and Mason first moved in all those years ago. I mean, the whole experience is so surreal, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of just surreal to me. Um, Honestly, this entire thing is just crazy to me. I absolutely have loved Bellevue. Me and Mason have been here for about five years, I think, together. And we've obviously lived, but I've just loved it here. We do kind of host a lot, to be honest. Um... But yeah, welcome to Bellevue. Yeah, thank you so much. Seriously, that's really sweet. And obviously with that, we were kind of hoping maybe we can invite you to go and hang out with us later tonight. Obviously, once you've settled in a little bit more, but, you know, maybe we can exchange phone numbers and just hang out. Oh, wow. Of course I would. I'd love to. Yes. I mean, um, I will plan on like having an early night though, so I won't be able to stay for a long time. But, um, you know, I would love to be able to come over and, you know, have a hang with you guys, of course. Okay, finally, I finished all of that, and um, yeah, so, oh, uh, she is just there, but I do want to, you know, still be polite, because, like, you know, hey, girl, hey, girl, come on in, thank you, I'm so glad you made it, so, obviously, how are you? Yeah, I've been, sorry, I've been so nervous about, you know, today, but yeah, thanks so much. Wow, okay, thanks so much. This is so cozy, guys, seriously. Um, thanks for inviting me around. So, um, it means, like, a lot, you know? 
Yeah, of course. It's great to meet new people. Of course. Obviously, moving is kind of scary. How do you feel about moving to Bellevue? It's kind of been like surreal for me to like, you know, be here and that. Um, Honestly, I really just... I've been so excited about the idea of living like alone and everything and that and it's like it was so scary that I didn't really process any of that and so so far it's just been the adrenaline of making sure I met the deadline to leave the flat in time and then now I'm here and it's my first night I've been kind of the worry's been kind of kicking in really I mean it's really it's beautiful but still quite nerve-wracking I would say. Honestly, I don't think you even need to worry about it. Me and Mason moved in about five years ago. And honestly, we were a nervous wreck. But five years later, we are like the best and strongest we've ever been. And it's all thanks to us like hosting the parties we do and just having fun really and letting loose. And I think that was the biggest lesson. Obviously, that's kind of the reason why I like to give out drinks and chocolates when I first meet people. Yeah, because that's not suspicious at all. Anyways, do you maybe want to have a real drink that you see us pour on the balcony? Sure, okay. Just one drink, though. Oh my goodness. (sighs) <sighs> oh my goodness, it's so bright, it's so early. Why did I not close those curtains last night? And the light, how did I get dressed? What the hell ever happened last night was crazy. I mean, I just had like a few drinks and I don't know, I can't even remember it. I've got to try it. I'm probably going to have to message Erin and Mason and figure it out. But honestly, that was like really fun. The most time I've had in ages. I'm really excited. This is so cool. One night here and I've already made friends and had a technical like a hangout party. But this was just amazing. I can't wait to see what happens in my adventure living here. But I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.